Paris Tutorials, I'm Simeon Grace. I'll be showing you this my beautiful cow neck top. It's a dress and it's also going to have a turtle neck just like what I have on is what I'll be making. I'll be using two yards of material to make my dress and yours can be a blouse long or short gown as well and if this is your first time on our channel kindly click the subscribe and the bell button it's totally free you need to click the bell to get updates anytime i upload a new video quickly let's go to the cutting table welcome back now i'm going to be taking out the half length the half length is what i'm going to be concerned about in this tutorial yours can be a straight blouse or a gown depending on whatever you want to sew the half length i'm working with is 15 inches i have my under bust of 12 inches and i also have the ham hole of 8.5 inches so here is um the shoulder measurement divided by two Shoulder is 14 inches divided by 2 is 7 inches. Now this pattern paper is not folded. I didn't fold it. When I get to the main material, I'll be folding my material. Here is my material. So I'll just place the pattern on my folded material when I'm cutting that. And I have shoulder divided by 2. And I have my bust length, uh, my ham hole of 8.5 and I have bust divided by four inches now i am not going to add any allowance to this and that's because uh, i always receive comments on why do you add eight inches and i think um so many people do not understand and i really want us to understand this tutorial so i am not going to add any allowance to the measurements i'll be taking here you can go ahead to add your same allowance so I have here the bust circumference measurement divided by 4, which is um, my measurement here is 10. Then the under bust circumference measurement divided by 4 is taken below the under bust length. And as well, I have the waist measurement and the hip just in case it's gown. It's a gown you're making. So... I'm concentrating on the half length that's 15 inches and I'm going to cut it out at the half length so let's mark it out that's 15 inches which is the on the, um, the half length this is my under bust measurement and here is my ham hole length of 8.5 inches I don't need to bring it to the very end since it's just the ham hole here I'm going to connect the shoulder measurements with um the bust line then from that point i'm going to take one inch so that i can easily mark out my ham hole the ham hole is there then take one inch so that i can easily bring out my ham hole curve now this is the midpoint so that I can reduce, I come in by 0 0.5 for the front arm O when I'm marking it out. So from here, we can easily carve out the point to the bust area, then from the bust to the under bust circumference measurement, then from the under bust circumference measurement, take it down to the waist, then it continues like that but i'm going to stop here so we need to cut this out first remember i did not have any allowance to this so when cutting it out on my fabric i'm going to increase i'm going to add to the circumference measurement all right now i've placed my pattern on my folded remember i told us i'm going to fold the material into two when i am going to cut and of course we also need to add allowance which i have done 
So the allowance on the bust area is 1.5 inches, the under bust and also the waist 1.5 inches allowance. Then I connect it to the ham O. The material is folded and on the neck area, yeah, here I have 2.5 inches as the width and 1 inch, 0 0.5 inch as the depth. So I can connect, then I can cut from here. Then on the ham hole, I took one inch so that I can bring out my shoulder slope. So just slant with one inch. The next thing I'll be doing is to cut out the front. So, but first I'm going to measure one inch interval on my pattern. So that I'm going to be slashing it out to spread out to cut. So the intervals are measuring one inch in between each slash. So I'm going to be cutting it out from the um from the bust area and not I'm I'm not going to cut it out completely. I'm just trying to um create an extension to the pattern paper. So cut on the one inch lines to slash. To cut out the front now, we need to fold our fabric. So, I'm going to be tracing it out on the pattern as well to cut for the front so that it will be easier for us to place on the material. And like I told us, I have just one inch interval for this lash. And from here, I am going to spread it out. Also, to achieve that, we need um, a wider and a longer material to cut out for the front. And I also added extra 5 inches. Added extra 5 inches and that's because I'm going to be pleating out the excess at the base of my um, dress. So now I can easily spread it out. The more you want the drapes to fall, the more you continue to spread out. Now to cut, I am going to trace it out in this manner. Then I'll come back to meet whatever I have on the pattern paper. Then I'll trace out the sides as well. So what I have here is going to be the front and that's what I'll be cutting out. And just in case you still want um, a fuller material, you can still extend this. You can go up by 3 inches, 4 inches or depending on your choice. So I'm marking out 3 inches and this is just for the drape. That's the cow parts of our dress. The more you want it to fall, the more you can go up. And just extend whatever allowance you have and then I'm going to connect to what I have before now because of the um, the parts where we need to add our turtleneck 
we still need to go up for that so i'm going to extend it by five inches you can extend yours by four by three inches and the width measurement i'll be using five inches you can add to it as well and that's because if i'm going to take the the, um, the original measurement to cut i'm going to have my normal curl neck but with this now it's going to extend to the collarbone area so that i can easily have my um my bishop collar on it so it's not going to be a sharp one but i'm going to connect it to what i have on ground so you just find your way to connect to what we have just like this so it's not going to be a sharp edge it's not going to be a sharp one find means to connect it and then we can cut I told us um, this is a spread and uh, five inches that I had it for the pleats and you can as well extend it so I also came out because of um, the style it's going to have a bishop collar hence this extension at the top so this is just um, based on whatever you want so find a way and this is going to be the front pattern I'm going to place this on my material to cut Remember, I told us um, on the drafting paper, I didn't have any allowance to the circumference measurement. So now I can add my 1.5 inches, then I can cut. This is our front now. I need to notch the middle and I also need to notch the middle for the back so that I can bring the middle together. I'm going to hold this down with my safety pin. Then I'll be bringing the sides together to join so what i'll be doing here is to join the side first i'm going to join the side The excess that we have, I'm going to just pleat, then I'm going to secure it first, just to hold down the pleat. The same thing on the other side, pleat out the excess so that we can bring out the ham oil. As you can see, this is the ham oil from the side. I'm also going to hold it down. Then... Whatever excess I have on my material, I'm going to be pleating it out on the shoulder. So I'll be joining that together on the shoulder. Just make sure you notch the middle, both for the front and the back, so that whatever excess you have, you'll be pleating it on the shoulder just like this. I'm going to secure it down then we'll come back i'll come back to tell you what we'll do from there
as you can see I've held down my pleats and here is the ham hole and also on the shoulder I've secured um, the excess both to the right and that of the left hand side and here is the ham hole so the next thing I'm going to be doing is joining the shoulder I'm going to join the shoulder and we also need to bring out the neck parts of the front so I'll fold this into two so that I can bring out the neck design on the front part and that is going to be the width of 2.5 inches same as the back measurements and the depth of 3 inches And it's going to be a round shape just like this so from what we have here I can easily join the shoulder then we we'll also need to um, divide I mean to open up the back and to do that I fold my fabric into two then I'll be taking out four inches just to open it up it's going to create an access for me to put on my dress easily since it has no zipper and of course I'm still going to add an invisible zipper by the side so this is four inches and I'm going to open it up just like this So this is what it looks like after cutting. Then I'm going to take a strip of fabric to turn that. And you can as well use a bias binding. So just turn it from the outside to the inside. Here I used a strip of fabric joining from the outside. So I'm going to be hemming it down on the inside using my needle and thread. This is my bishop collar and I'm going to be joining this on my material and I have a tutorial on how to join a bishop collar. Now I'm going to take the measurement of the round neck so to cut out a bishop collar and to do that here I have 14 inches and this is my material. The measurement, the width measurement is 16. I can still reduce it to 15. 14 inches is the length of um, the round neck and the width of the material is 5 inches. So that when I fold into two, I can just close up the sides first. Then I'm going to start by joining it from the inside. Then I'll come back to top stitch on the outside just like this. So I won't be showing the parts in this tutorial. You can watch how to join that. I have the tutorial. And it's going to be the last thing I'll be doing here on this tutorial. The width is 5 inches. Then the round neck is the measurement of what I have on the neck. I'm going to be joining it from the inside and coming back to top stitch on the outside. You can go with whatever sleeve of your choice 
Then the base as well, you can go with either flare, you can make it a long gown or a short gown or even a blouse. So, you can go with the sleeve of your choice as well. Mine is just going to be um, a three-quarter basic sleeve and it's going to be the last thing. Don't forget to share this video, like and subscribe. Click the bell to get notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section as well. I still remain Simeon Grace. Till I see you next class. Bye.